NFTs. They were the digital art world's answer to a midlife crisis. But like a sports car with flames painted along the sides, NFTs quickly became a fickle fad. Tonight, we sit down with Chambi, a purple monster who wasted his fortune on NFTs. So Chambi, how much was your NFT worth this time last year? Build a bear encrusted with Swarovski crystals. And today? And the Abini baby. Oh. Why would you embark on such a risky investment in the first place? Ever since I saw National Treasure, I've always wanted to be an art stealer. I mean, art dealer. Yeah, art dealer. I think you mean art collector? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Listen, to remain competitive in the creator economy, we gotta take risks. Like, like Nikki did. Have you seen the new movie, The Goofy? Chombi went on about Nicolas Cage <laughs> for another 25 minutes. I love to support the arts. I, I really do. Uh, suddenly, these poor, stinky, disgusting, artsy people, you know the type, who had never made a single penny before were selling the digital art for thousands, even millions of dollars. The more I bought, the more they could increase in value. I'm a giver, I'm a giver. But like any fad, there were warning signs. Plagiarism was a major issue, with some claiming ownership of digital art that wasn't theirs. Then there were the environmental concerns with the energy consumption of blockchain technology making NFTs worse than plastic straws at SeaWorld. So why not jump on GameStop stock instead? Well, Alex, I didn't jump on the GameStop stock because I'm not a nerd. It wasn't just the market that was volatile. NFT projects and platforms were popping up left and right and left and right and left and right, promising utility through exclusive access and virtual experiences. And now, potentially hammering the final nail into the NFT coffin, Meta has recently dropped non-fungible tokens from its platforms. And with it, Chombi's bank account is laid to rest. What? Who said that? What? What? My Metaverse gallery? What? Um, yes, that's the whole reason you're here today. You didn't know? <laughs> in conclusion, the rise and fall of NFTs was like a digital soap opera. Do NFTs still have a future in the art world? Maybe. But they'll surely have to work hard to regain the trust of collectors and investors. In next week's episode, we interview Nicky Cage and ask him about his alleged relationship with Miss Piggy. <laughs>